and hit three home runs in the 1977 World Series, please welcome Reggie Jackson. I also 
also keep a bowl of magnums by my bedside. <laughs> But that's just because I want to make sure I can get all my stuff waterproofed if it starts flooding in the middle of the night. Wow. Little... That was awful! <laughs> no, I deserved everything I got from that. That was bad. All right. Whew. Let's just let that air out for a second. Your next comedian doesn't deserve to follow that real quick, you know? Air out the room for a second. Anyway... Your next comedian is Clayton English. What up, though? Y'all all right? Y'all good? Everybody okay? All right. Um, look, y'all give it up for all the comedians that you've seen. All the ones that you've ever seen. This is my job. This is what the fuck I chose to do. This shit ain't easy. You think it's easy just having a motherfucker look at you the whole time that you're working? Hell no. Shit is impossible. What if somebody looked at you the whole time you're working at your job? You couldn't check your Facebook and Twitter and shit. And you piss me the motherfucker. I do this shit so I can do what the fuck I want to do. I can smoke weed when I want to. And I don't have to have my that's what I'm talking about. I don't want no drug test. What kind of shit is that? Have they ever just tried to give you a drug test? And you'd be like, shit, I should just leave. Ain't no point. I don't care about this time. This is stupid. This fuck. I don't give a fuck. One time they, they gave me a drug test and he didn't even send the shit to the lab. He just he just came out and held it up in the light. He was like, uh, nope. I said, hey man, do your fucking job. Take it to the lab, spin it around. He was like, uh, sir, it's a seed right here. You know what I'm your kid is up, cause you see... Fuck out of here. Fucking drug test, I'm not taking that shit. I smoke weed, that's why I think about what the fuck I think about. It's 2012, they say that's the end of the world. It's the apocalypse, it's the end of the Mayan calendar. Who gives a fuck? When the fuck have you ever been used in the Mayan calendar? You know what I'm talking? The Mayan calendar say sacrifice a little kid every Wednesday. Have you been doing that? Then fuck them. They've been gone. They gonna tell you when the world ended, they've been dead. Your world ended a long time ago. They don't even have numbers. You gonna tell us 2012. They, fuck out of here. I'm not dying. I done seen enough movies. I seen Day After Tomorrow, Independence Day, Armageddon, Deep Impact, Book of Eli, Goddamn Home. Uh, I am legend. Black folks are real. That's what I'm saying. Black folks are real. It was shit. Morgan Freeman was the president of Deep Impact. Goddamn. This motherfucker Will Smith was fighting zombies with a fresh ass lineup. How the fuck you got time to get a haircut for these zombies and shit running around and you in the mirror riding the fuck out of here? Will Smith, you ain't did that shit. Fuck out of here. I wish the end of the world would be some zombies. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna make it. The end of the world, what that mean? You gotta eat noodles all the time? I've been doing that. What the fuck are you saying? Fuck out of here. Now all we need is me and the sausage. Nothing's changed. What the fuck are you talking about? This fucking stupid. I wish there would be some zombies too. Let some zombies happen. How the fuck? I don't even see how you get caught by a zombie. I went my whole life without letting a crackhead or a homeless person touch me. And you think I'm gonna let a motherfucker get close enough to bite me now? No! It's fucking dumb. Why don't nobody ever pull away from the zombie? And when a motherfucker get caught, in, oh, fuck! Why don't nobody get the fuck off me? Why you don't never see nobody hit a zombie with a juke move? Just, ooh! And then a zombie break his ankle. The bone pop out. And shit. Why? Why, the Why you can't stiff arm a zombie just like, ooh, that motherfucker almost got me. You saw him shit. Ooh, I hit the eyes and I'm like, yeah! What the fuck? Why the fuck happens a zombie with no legs grab your feet, pick your feet up? What the fuck are you doing? Why the fuck you get caught? That's stupid as shit. And even if I did get bit by a zombie, I wouldn't turn into no zombie. I done went my whole life without having health insurance. I know I could get better on my own. What the fuck are you talking about? Put some big vapor up on my feet, take some day pills and night pills at the same time. Then I'm gonna put on a bunch of clothes, turn up the heat, eat some chicken soup with lemon, and goddamn drink me some strong cough syrup, and I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna wake up with crust in my eyes, and it'll be hot, but I'm gonna feel better. You do that shit, I bet you can cough up a whole Mucinex man with luggage and kids and everything. Uh, fuck out of here. Alright. Um, 
That's my time. This time we leave. Before I go, can I um let me see. Is there any other shit? Oh yeah, you know they tried to put me in a slow class when I was in school. And that's fucked up because I had ADD and they didn't tell me what the shit was. You know, they took me in the office and the teachers, you know, the counselor sat down and was like, you have ADD and what that means is you have a trouble paying attention to it, man. I don't know what the fuck she said. I stopped paying attention. <laughs> Bitch, why would you sit there's no video for this shit? Why would you sit down and try to tell me about some shit when I obviously have a problem paying attention? I thought I had a superpower. I left the shit and I was like, shit, you mean I can tune people out when I want to? <laughs> this shit is fucking awesome. <laughs> all right, look. Y'all got a lot of comedians to see. Give it up for all of them. Shout out to the Universal Soldiers for coming in this bitch. Hey, and shout out to Cafe Deal for doing this shit. Y'all keep supporting live comedy. That's what I'm talking about. Give it up for your host, man. Keep it going. All right, don't. I don't give a shit. All right. I was diagnosed with ADD too as a young child, and the funny thing about ADD is, the next comedian coming to the stage, <laughs> Rachmani Ramachandran.